in the Hanan Estate Tea Plantation. And tea was first planted here in 1867. And basically, it was perfect timing because two years later, there was a blight, a coffee blight, which meant that the tea could actually replace the coffee, uh, coffee industry. So you can see here they just pluck the tea straight from the plant. And the leaves are perfect, but yeah. They're lovely. Oh these are the these are the leaves. Yeah. This is leaves. So you put, you pick those leaves. Yeah. And this this big one? No no no. This one uh, not uh, not not pickable. No. Just the uh, just the leaves. Yes. I see. When you look, yeah, the middle bit's good, yeah. So it's just crazy you see it's just like tea planted in all the different directions on all the hills all the way around the whole countryside is just full of tea and so next we're going to go into the old factory museum to see one thing worth actually talking about is the climate so we just had a rain shower and you know, the, the amount of rain that just came down within like, you know, 20 minutes was just huge, monsoonish. But now it's like the sun's out and it's absolutely roasting again. So like a highly tropical climate, ideal for growing tea, I guess. Okay, so here we are in the Ceylon Tea Museum and we're about to kick off the tour. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is clustered diesel engine. It is called hot bulb engine. It can generate 8 horsepower, just enough to operate one tea roller machine. This engine 1880. The startup sang on sick equipped one engine, powers the entire factory. It can generate 42 horsepower. Tea 32. Can I can make to put his main shaft by when it operate all of these sheets? The message is the crown code, say 188. Yeah. True. Belt driven system of the power of that belt. On to the next. Here, his second lane deals of this. This made. Okay. That one end does the whole factory. Yeah. Factory. But this was actually the factory. This factory in 1925. Okay. After 1986, this factory closed. Uh, and 2001 converted to museum. Uh, but this all the missions, different places, and donated by state park. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, please do. Uh, first process is the manufacturers, either in, either in area, upper floor. And after the shoots to the rollers, crushes the tea with a small part. This is first hand driven tea roller. It is called Little Giant. Little Giant. With, with the lapis, put it with the jacket, and two meta needed to operate this. It's very hard But then hard for. Mm, very hard work. So this one is the one that was fat, but the near with the belt. Yeah. It's called double action tea roller. Double action means table and the jacket, both in operate opposite way. With the lapis, put it the shoots to the roller. Pressure is applied for rolling is done for half an hour. For four hours, we can see the extra post. Deleting has just the tea is a small part. Oh, I just think mine? Yes, no, not by those. So the tea goes into there, gets pressed in there, crushed in, crushed into small. Oh, it's the same. Sorry, okay. That's the same as that. That's belt driven, that's manually driven. My apologies. Yeah. First page, half an hour roll in, and after 10 minutes, draw a break in. A small particle put into the fermenting. Big particle again trusted. Okay, and Sorry. how small? How small does it go? Okay. Big particle again, and then third. The sit, yeah, it gets saved through here. The producing the small bits. And I guess the tea has already been dried, yeah? Before it. Not dried, before it comes here. So, what, what state? First, it's a withering mean reduce the moisture yeah. 45%. And upstairs, a withering area. And after t shirts to the rollers, 
and press the tea leaves up and now and after 10 minutes or three small particles put into the fire okay so tea dries up dries up stairs down to yeah dry to 45 percent humidity then it comes down the shooter into there crushed and then it's filtered through here into the right sort of size and then small tea leaves come over here yes. good okay i'm following and it is spread onto the table yeah. onto fringes thick fermentation varies between half and two hours a uh, different milk and yeah made three hundred and good aroma to make the tea palatable on the black uh, tea bag and green tea, green tea and white tea not fermented oh uh, okay so they skip this process yeah okay yeah. you like black tea or green tea a uh, black tea for me yeah i like all sorts of tea green tea black tea all sorts of tea great deals yeah well i'm uh, not yeah not as much white tea but more black tea and green tea green. but I, I i'll drink white mm. Yeah, because this is, is this white tea here? Yes, I mean, sure. The white. I don't think I even have that white. But the old teas come from the same plant, but different process. Uh, I don't know whether I know what white tea is. Yes, I mean. So, so shall we? Okay, okay. okay. and the next chamber. After the filmmaking, it's made in state with this dryer. Uh, this is six ray silico dryer. Fermented leaf is kept inside to be fired. Outside furnace section, then heat and air through the dryer. Uh, it's all a metal dryer. This it's all by drying it, yeah. 1888. 1888. Good fire, wow. Okay. Yeah, dude. Oh, wow, yeah. The, the cooling fins or heat dispensation fins here. But this brings the humidity of the tea leaves down to what? Five. Five. Um, drying process. Yeah. Okay. So there'll be no humidity left then. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Normally five positions so firing at twelve minutes to twenty-four minutes drying. Wow. Okay. Uh, but this dry price, sir, four thousand one hundred eight red rupees. Back then. Yes. Yeah. Old. Yeah. Isn't that expensive? Yeah. The dryers. It is called Bokers dryer. Uh, this is first in drying Sinon. It is called Venetia tea dryer. Okay, that's interesting because that's a downdraft dryer, and this is an updraft dryer. Venetian tea. Venetian dryer. Okay. Yeah. That's updraft. Okay. Yeah. Well, the same shop, tower, but all driven by the same engine. Yeah, all the way through by the shaft. But main Venetian tea dryer, these sprays are like the Venetian blind. Oh, okay. Oh, like this, the slats, okay. Nice. There we go, that's it. Venetian dryer before dismantling on the estate. Okay, so this is for the shop. Yeah, yeah. So the shop is like a shop. Yeah, 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 the shop is like a shop. Helton wheel, yeah. Where are they trying to fall? What's up, my boy? What is in London from my Irish high speed? When what? And connect the rails and open it to fall at the tree top of the machine. Yeah. At the small wheel. Yeah. So. So water in. Water in here, spins the Kelton wheel, falls down into that drainage shaft, and this is the generator to create electricity out of the back. Old style electricity from 1930. Furnace, a fire would be put into the furnace. Uh, these tubes and the furnace help the air to be sent evenly. Next to your air and get the air. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, even. And then this fuel the um, the drying next door. Yeah, okay. And the tubes help with heat distribution, I guess. More even heat distribution. On here we have furnace door plate to hold the tube. Pretty big industrial operation that we've got going on here. All for tea. Yes. After dry, tea can be traded different mess sizes and grading and put in the final product of storing. Okay. 
Steven, yeah. Please tell I can explain the grades, yeah. Key grades, yes. We've got a car. Driven off the belt system. Ooh, that's like a very fine car. We've got a blower. Everyone loves a blower. All right, we're coming across to the key grades. Hey, ma'am, here's the silver tips and golden tips. So, uh, pick the top young ladies not to use machines. Uh, now, the tray is picking this one on the top. Okay. Pick the top young one and wrap put it this and this one white tea. Okay, but very expensive. Uh, the, what? What? The, sir? Why is it expensive? On the, the silver tips and golden tips. Because it's just the, the, the top the tips tip. of the tea. Okay. And that makes it expensive. Then, then put in Sencha green tea. Gunpowder tea, Chinese pan, meat in process, same chat, Japanese and steam in process, Harker, green tea, black. This for black tea, final grade, dust number one, then dust. With a small size grades, with a strong tea. Orange pupo pickle grades, curly leaves, and light cup of tea. Broken orange pickle, broken orange pickle, fannings, bitter, with milk or without milk, strong. But okay. So you like with milk or without milk? With milk. With milk. In England, most tea is with milk. With milk. English breakfast tea, BOP. Ah, if you have an orange pickle. Nice. Well made, neat leaf with medium size without excessive stuff, however, to balance. Okay. And BOP, F1, so better taste with milk. BOP, I'm talking orange pickle. But all the, all the teas be perfect. All teas, different taste. Yeah. And so, what drives the color, the fermentation process? Is that right? Green tea only fermenting, green tea and white tea not. Okay, yeah. So yeah, just this is just picked off a thing and then dried, dried steaming, process. steaming process. So it, it remains white, but then the fermentation process ferments it to black. Like when you, and then you have without milk. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason you have with. I understand. You can you today you can try all the teas. yeah. We can try all your teas. Wonderful. Very nice. And this is a, a tea plant. Yeah. 80 years old. 80 years old. This is a this is also the that's a piece of art that isn't it? Wow. Wow. Okay. This is a small baby. Vegetable. Four years. And here's tea transplant each for transplanting seed. It's like a golf course uh putting pool. Oh yeah, nice model. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, can you walk us through the process? It's the manufacturing, withering, withering means ready the moisture. Yeah. For five percent, and then after it's with the rollers, ashes just feed it for small particles. First stage, half an hour rolling, then after it in medium stirred bread heat, a small particle to be the form of it, and we collect the filling. We can then make blocking for it. That's the seed shaking the area. Office. Office, office, yeah. Steam. What? After fermenting, the beef is taken drier. And I write the tea leaf. They will tear the topics. Yes. It can be grated. And that's storing tea bean. Same tea bean. Yes. Same tea bean. Same. Very good. Okay. Can I just. So, can I replay it back to you? So we have the tea brought in from the, the fields into here, stored in here till the humidity is down to 45%. Then it, it's put down the chute, down uh, into the roller to make it uh, flat and even the distribute. As the feed says. Yeah, crushed it into small particles. And then it goes onto the shaker, which uh, sorts it into different sizes, small particles. Yeah, and then it goes into fermenting, which is over here, is this right? A fermentary leaf is taken with juice grind. Oh yeah, sorry, it ferments on the um, the tables for how long? Half an hour. Half an hour, wow, not very long. Okay, then it goes up to the dryer where it dries even further down. Yeah. And then from there it gets sorted and put into the tea bin. And then it's ready for taking? Yes. Ready for drinking, okay. And the whole process takes how long? Uh, two days, you know. Two days? Yes. All the way, okay. Wow, from peak. To tea, two days. Look at that operation. 
Wow. Very cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Nice factory. Very nice factory. Very cool. I will show you. Let's see. Okay, there we have. That's the whole process of tea from picked in the fields. Two days. Taken into here. Up here, I guess. Dried. Crushed. Dried. Crushed. Fermented. Then sorted. Chopped in the tea bin. Chopped in the teacup. Here. Here. The Tea Research Institute, okay. Ho oh. ho. Tea Research. The tea Research. <laughs> yeah. Slab. Wow. Look at that. So what were they doing on here? Luffy at Lee Chunky. Cape Fat. So, what, what is this? This is to test the best ways of brewing the tea. Okay. This is it. Back in time. Expanded. Plucking basket. God, that looks like hard work, isn't it? You're not working remotely. Plucking tea leaves, are you? This is a special place. Uh, this is called Yale Steeler Museum. Yeah. This Yale Steeler. He was born in Scotland. Ah, I was born in Scotland. That's great, isn't it? All great men are born in Scotland. <laughs> he was first planted tea in 1867. At Lulkandra State in 19 acres, he was the father of Siran tea industry. There you go, another Scot, father of the tea industry, eh? Huh? He was lying at 857. He was buried in. Lawrence Kerr. Buried in Kangli, wow, okay. That's his actual height. That's his actual height. Oh, he was a tall lad. Yeah, a little bit taller than me. He's one ninth. Maybe it's all there, yeah, okay. Yes. He was a big lad, 102 kilograms, yeah. He wouldn't be any good on a bike up a hill. And so we are upstairs in what used to be the um, the, the withering room, yes. yes. So many ground floor and the machinery. Yeah. And the floor so many tea factory. Withering area, yeah. wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, good. Oh, different teapots. The oldest tea packet in Sri Lanka. Right. And in Port of Paul, inside original tea. Look at that, the original tea. Would it be drinkable now? And that's... No. I'm very really expensive. The oldest tea packet in Sri Lanka. And then... Yeah, get that tea. Oh my God. The Kalon Tea Propaganda Board. What propaganda would you want to be doing about but Sir Thomas Lipton was also Scottish. Ah, oh, there you go, another great Scot. Uh, yeah, look, he was born in Glasgow, though. Lipton's tea. A Scot. Not seen a lot of English people then. Down in here. Ornamental teapots. So, we've got basically two Scotsmen. Cave to Schleicher. In 1800, late 1800s, planted. Uh, some tea, built this, and then what well, I guess shipped it back home because our British people like their tea. And, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, the fan. Withering. Wait a me. Very big. Oh, well, wow, okay. Were they driven by the same engine? It then put us. So the withering fans, and where was the tea kept? In there? Oh no, sorry, here. This is where the tea was kept. The uh, first process is the manufacturer is withering. Yeah, after plucking, leaf is taken to this floor and the leaf is withered. Always they use natural air. If it is rainy day, the heated air from the large withering fans. Ah, so if it's a wet day, the withering fans came on and pushed hot air into it. Ah, okay. But very old methods. Very old methods, yeah. So the tea was just laying on there, like that. And we can see the tea out this window. Tea on the hills. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. And so it's worth noting, we're quite high above candy. 
Uh, so we're up the mountain, so I guess it's like quite hilly and a lot, a lot more humid, I guess, actually. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Big of knuckle. Knuckles Mountain Range. I've still did it stimuli. Oh, okay. Not to be kind of see different teas and different tea colors. Oh, yes. And a top floor restaurant. You have three cup of tea. So Lovely. And Perfect. you can buy all the teas. Okay. And can to send off. Perfect. Oh, I love it. So now we get to go see the tea and drink some tea. Okay. So here's the Pilong tea. Great. Golden tips, white. Silver tips. Orange pickle. Tea is always tasted standing up. And then <laughs> gone down the different grades. Did dusty and gunpowder and broken pickle. That looks quite like what we usually drink actually when you get this Donald tea these, isn't it? The broken pickle. Yeah, this is this right. Tea is always tasted standing up. The tea sample is infused in boiling water. The infusion is inspected, taking into account the colour, aroma, clarity and body. The tea taste tip takes the infusion into his mouth with loud sucking sounds, which mixes the infusion with oxygen, letting it travel over his tongue and palate to set freshness, sharpness, okay and fullness. Uh, Apparently, women aren't allowed to No, his tongue, to yeah. yeah. <laughs> women aren't allowed to taste tea. You have to slurp it in that. So let me practice, so you got to go while standing up. And here we have all the different tea type socket. The, this is the, the different ones. So, wow, okay. So we've got like all the black teas here. And the different, I don't know if you can see this, but the grounds, the grounds are quite different. This one's quite a, a coarse ground one. So, so that's quite fine and getting finer. These are all quite fine grounds. And then here we've got like a, Less fermented and. Because this is the high weed. No, this is not where it is. We have silver tips. That comes out of that. Green. green tea, which is like actually. Oh, it's really green on camera, but actually it's quite black to the eye. And then it turns into that. It looks started off like that. Pickles. We've started off as that. Once fermented and turned into that. OP. Oh, that actually smells like English breakfast. And turns into that. And a uh, different one. The uh, BOP. Well, BOP is an effect, you see. Turns into this. At least. Uh, the different grinds. This really dark. That looks like coffee, that one's so dark. Wow. Okay. On to tea tasting. So before we start testing the tea. We have a package on the way of all the different tea types. But here we have some photos, which are pretty cool. Look at this. Child labor and a half picking tea leaves. That looks absolutely back wrecking. And here we have, this is India. And this is Sri Lanka where we are. And we are in Kandy, which is right in the middle there. That's Kandy. And here is what? Here's the tea getting sorted in the bags and all. This is actually, this is the, the, the tea estate. So we are in Hantan State in Ceylon or Sri Lanka. And this is it getting packaged. And this is it and shipped out. Pretty incredible, just the size and scale of the whole operation and how quickly it can be picked and out the door in two days. That's rapid. So here we have our key selection. What have we got? BOP. BOP. Medium paste black tea. Yep. This is OP light black tea. Mm. This is green tea. This is spicy tea, tochai tea. Um. And this is light tea collection, silver tip tea. Already made the tea. This is tip. If you like for the tip, more than two. Okay. Mm. And this is herbal collection, pink tea, and lemon iced tea. Lemon iced this tea. This is sugar syrup for the iced tea. Sugar syrup for iced tea. Okay, thank you. Yeah, start with the white. So this is Ceylon white tips, like white tip tea. That's quite nice. It's very mild tea. Mild tea. 
Okay. Would you like to try some? Yes, please. So, a bit like that. white tipped, no milk. Oh yeah, kind of like fresh. This is herbal uh, ginger? No, it wasn't ginger, it's was flowers. Flowers. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Very floral. And then I'm going for this one, which is the spicy tea, so basically. The Salah Chai vibe spice. Dine delightful. Delightful? What, what, what kind of... You gotta give it's like, more. It's like Masala Chai, but I only put like watery, because Masala Chai is usually 50% milk, 50%. There's no milk, so it's just... Uh... It's just... And it's not gingery at all. It's more like cinnamony. Cardamom. Oh yeah, that uh, cardamom, cardamom. This is green. Green. Doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it. Pointless in my mind. Not very nice to the green tea in your strip. Okay, green tea. Green. Oh, quite a light green tea. Like there's not. Um, like the green tea we get in the UK is very. Um, like yeah, like uh, aftertaste is quite like yeah. strong, but this is like really light. Oh, that's actually quite delicious and the best for fat loss, by the way, for anyone looking to, um, yeah, green teas are the best for fat loss. Okay, this one is OP. OP. And? Quite bitter, Bit. aftertaste. This is, oh, this is quite orangey, like this is quite orangey and light. And you can start and get the, the notes of, um, like breakfast tea. This is strong for breakfast tea. Yeah, and it's quite bitter, but then that might be that it just needs some milk behind the meat. Sugar, a bit like a builder's tea. She's at, or here we are in Sri Lanka, and she's saying, yeah, chuck a bit of sugar in it. Yeah, that just tastes like English breakfast tea. Very nice. And that is a lemon iced tea. Lemon iced tea, but this is without a sugar. Oh. The lemon iced tea without the sugar. We've got the sugar syrup, so. Go on then. Both. Uh, I need sugar. <laughs> it's got a very bitter aftertaste. All of, well, the OP, the BOP, and this all have this like weird bitter taste afterwards. And I think the, the requirement is sugar. The, which. But I can tell you one thing. Lemon. Oh. Oh. I can tell you. Really bitter. I think Barry's isn't that bitter. Barry's is just the perfect blend of tea, isn't it? <laughs> poor, um, poor James. Sorry. Poor, poor James, what's his name? James Taylor of the tea industry, father of the tea industry in Sri Lanka, has been ousted by Barry's tea of Ireland. Do we know where Barry grains tea? That, just very lemony. And not very nice. So, if I had to choose my favourite of them all, what would it be? This one, the silver tip. Is this the white yeah. silver tip? Silver tip, Ceylon tea. Okay. It's all Ceylon tea. I would go for actually bold, but the green tea was my favourite of them all because it was just like really light and flavourful, and actually was quite nice. And least favourite? Least favourite was. Um, Least favourite was this one, this florally, uh, florally gingery one. It's not ginger at all. Yeah, all right. Thanks. My least favourite is probably the OP. The OP? Why? Because it's got the bitterness of the BOP without the taste. The bitterness of the BOP. So not without the nice breakfast tea vibes. I agree the floral doesn't really do it for me, but the other hands might. We forgot to ask you a very important question. When was tea first bagged and put into the tea bag? Shishi. Yeah, the bag, yeah. Yes. When, what year was it first put into the... The 1970s. 1970s, okay. Yeah. And, and done here or somewhere else? Yeah. The... yeah. Here, they would bag it here in the 70s. But no tea bit. Yes, loose tea's better than <laughs> Thank you. That wraps up our Adventures with Con video in the tea plantation tour. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.